Welcome once again to Spirit and Life, a time of refreshing in God's Word. Jesus promised that His Word, His Spirit, and His life. And in this broadcast today, God's Word will lift up your spirit and give life to you. We are on the series of the principles of, of abundance. And we have seen that abundance means to have more than you need. Abundance is having things in excess of requirement. Jesus wants believers to have life and to have it more abundantly. And in the last broadcast, I told us that the fundamental principle of abundance, the number one principle, is that you need to recognize and believe that God is the source of abundance. All things come from Him. He, he gives wealth. He gives riches. He is the one that supplies all of our needs. Once you recognize and believe this, it helps your focus. It helps you to pay attention on the source rather than jumping from one thing or the other and struggling to live a life of abundance. Uh, our number two principle of abundance is that abundance comes through faith in God and His Son and through exercising faith in His Word. Abundance comes through faith in God and His Son and exercising faith in His Word. If you believe God is the source of abundance, then you must exercise faith in Him. How do you do this? Number one, you must come to Him through His Son, Jesus Christ, and make Him the Lord of your life. You exercise faith in God and His Son by getting born again, repenting from your sins. In Job chapter 22, Verse 21 says, Acquaint now yourself with him and be at peace, thereby good shall come to thee. So when you come to Jesus and you make peace with God through Jesus Christ, you position yourself for abundance to come. Acquaint with him. Get saved. Get born again. You cannot have lasting riches or abundance without abiding in Jesus. Proverbs 28 verse 22 says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he who make haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To be faithful means to have faith in Jesus and to abide in faith. Faithfulness makes you to have abundance of blessings. So exercising faith in God and Jesus Christ is a, an important key and principle to a life of abundance. Now if we go back to Job chapter 22, you know, verse 22 says, Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in your heart. Now this, this is exercising faith in his word. For you to have abundance, this second principle says you must exercise faith in God and his son and faith in his word. So he says you've got to receive the word from his mouth. You exercise faith in his word. Receiving Christ is step one of faith in God. Step two is exercising faith in in his word. You have to believe the word of God as your guide to success. You have to believe the word of God as your key to abundance in life. You can't experience abundance without faith in the word of God. You can't experience abundance without following the principles of success in the word of God. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, 
but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, so that you may observe to do according to all that is written there. For then thou shalt make your way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So being born again is the first step. But living by the word of God is an important step to making your way prosperous, to having good sources. Faith in God and His Son and faith in His Word is an important principle that will bring abundance to your life. Hallelujah. So in verse 22 of our scripture, in Job chapter 22, your attention is drawn to exercising faith in the Word of God. Now, faith in God and his son also requires that you put away sin and live a life that pleases him. Jesus says, you know, uh, uh, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Abundant life is a life that pleases God. And in verse 23 of Job 22, it says, If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up, and you will put away sin far from your tabernacle. The life of abundance comes to you as you say faith in God, faith in Jesus, faith in his word, and live a life that pleases God. You walk away from sin. You please him with your life. And then the scripture says in verse 24 of Job 22, Then you shall lay up gold as dust. When he says faith in God, when you get saved, born again, when you exercise faith in the word of God, when you live a life that pleases him, then gold will come like dust. Gold of offer will come as the stones of brew. Then verse 25 says, The Almighty will be your defense, and you will have plenty of silver. Hallelujah. Your faith in God and his son, your faith in his word, is going to usher you into a new season of abundance. I need you this morning to acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior and to declare your faith in the Word of God and that you're going to live your life to please Him. And as you do that this morning, the door to abundance is open. If you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'd like you to do so by repeating these words after me. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as the Son of God, the one who died for me on the cross of Calvary. I repent of my sins and I yield my life to you. I invite you into my life as my Lord and Savior. I declare today that you are my Lord and Savior and that you died for me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What a great thing that has happened to you. You are well positioned. As you have received Christ and as you exercise your faith in his word and live a life that pleases him. Abundance is yours. God bless you. Spirit, lead me where my trust.